When you hold a smartphone, you actually hold more computing power than Apollo spacecraft that landed on moon. And heart of these innovations and advancements is originated from chip design. But what makes these chips so powerful? What role AI will play in chip design innovations? So let us have a look on all these questions. Full form of VLSI is very large scale integration, where we actually combine billions of transistors onto a single chip. RTL design, verification, DFT, physical verification, Testing of these ICs is done by millions of engineers around the globe because each chip goes through a specific flow termed as VLSI design flow. On the other hand, AI involves the use of intelligent algorithms to automate processes that may require human intelligence too. To do this, machines need to be trained on more and more amount of data. For that purpose, we need high computing power that comes from a VLSI chip. So what's the conclusion from above two lines? VLSI design flow is a vast flow. Every step in the VLSI design flow requires a team of engineers to complete the task. There are some areas in VLSI design flow which are repetitive or require little human intervention and can be done using machines. AI will be taking over these fields in few years. So wouldn't industry require VLSI engineers? Is that the thing? No. AI needs a large amount of data to learn and a powerful system on chip to compute. Hence automatically more and more chips are required for advancements in the field of AI. VLSI world have lot of things which are intellectual property of a particular company. So it won't be easy to find that much amount of training data openly available. Areas like chip design, verification, debug, physical design require a lot of human intelligence. I feel it can't be replaced so early. We cannot predict future but I can say it will take a lot of time and the advancement in AI will also create new type of job opportunities for humans. So we need to take this as a plus point and make ourselves to be ready with new skills. Now let us come back to the topic. So we can say both AI and VLSI require help of each other to grow. AI can automate some part of VLSI design and it may reduce the time to market for chips. At the same time, VLSI will provide more and more computing power to AI. In this way, both can significantly help in new technological innovations for each other. AI can be used in various ways in VLSI design flow. Let us start with first step and that is design automation. AI can be used in VLSI through design automation, where complex machine learning algorithms may predict how a chip will perform before it's manufactured. There is PPA in RTL design. So we can use AI to optimize design in terms of PPA power, performance and area. It can simulate various designs for one problem statement and then we can pick the best one as per optimized PPA. Second one is design verification. Basic idea of verification is to cover every possible scenario, every possible practical scenario and validate the design against it. In verification, ATPG is a process of automatically generating the test patterns which can verify the functionality of design. Instead of generating all possible 2 to the power n patterns, we may take help of AI to generate practical and more comprehensive test patterns. Another verification technique is formal verification, which is basically mathematical way of proving correctness of VLSI design. And as we know, AI works on complex algorithms, so we can take help of AI to generate proofs along with counter examples for doing formal verification. Debugging. I feel it would require human intervention always because we need to see entire architecture and trace the error to solve it. AI may help to ease the process of debug, but at some point of time, it will require human intervention. In fact, all the verification processes explained here can be eased using AI, but will require human intelligence at some point of time during the process. And third one is VLSI physical design, where placement is the process of determining the optimal location of components on a chip. Routing is finding the optimal path for signals to travel in a chip between components. Timing analysis ensures that the signals in a chip are synchronized, in fact well synchronized and reach their destination at the correct time. And the last one is layout optimization, which basically means improving physical design in terms of PPA. Basically AI algorithms can be used in solving or reducing effort for associated physical design problems such as signal integrity, congestion and power consumption. Similarly, R&D engineers can identify the places where AI can be used in respective part of VLSI design 
there are so many other places in vlsi design flow such as synthesis sta so r and d engineers who are working in the particular domain can find which part of the vlsi design flow can be automated and which part will require human intervention always so i hope ai and vlsi both will help each other in future advancements some jobs will be eliminated and some new type of jobs will be created too so keep growing your skills and thank you for watching the video see you guys next video